On Beacon Hill, there are multiple efforts to enhance child care policies. 22 News State House reporter Ellen Fleming has where advocates are focusing. Child care policies can be found in legislation, the state budget, and the forthcoming tax relief bill. But child care advocates are pushing for comprehensive action to help reshape the field. A legislative committee reported last year that it will take about $1.5 billion in investments to fix the state's early education and care system. Much of the focus has been placed on the sector due to the upheaval the pandemic caused and attempts to make the state more competitive. Last year, the Senate took on legislation to help child care across the state, but it was never voted on in the House. Senate leaders have hinted towards revisiting child care this session. When it comes to the budget, advocates tried to make a final push to convince the conference committee to incorporate a 10% increase in cash assistance grants for low-income families. This was in the Senate, but not the House's budget. Now on the House side, advocates are pushing for their agenda item of making universal free school meals permanent. The Senate did not include this in their budget. The budget is going to come out and it is going to be signed into law and having preschool meals included in that would mean that at least we've provided that guarantee for districts going into the fall. And I think that's really critical for them. Both the Senate and the governor have voiced support in extending the pandemic era policy, but through a standalone bill. The earned income tax credit is also being advocated for. Both chambers tax relief bills included an increase in the earned income tax credits match rate to 40% of the federal credit. The budget remains in conference committee. The state is currently working on an interim budget as the fiscal year began on July 1st. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Ellen Fleming, 22 News.